Strangely beautiful today, isn't it? I mean, you're not used to it being nice and sunny in England, so, um, days like this, I cherish them. Because it means I get to wear my sunglasses. Am I cool yet? So, I'm living at a family home, and, yeah, until apartment limbo's over. Sorry I didn't upload last week, because, um, it was a train wreck last week. Um, a lot of, a lot of work to be done, but, um, it's a nice day. And last night I was like, oh mum, what, what should I take out of the freezer to defrost? I mean, we have all this all this stuff in the freezer to eat for tomorrow night. What should we have for that? I was like, hmm, well, you find out. So I took some burgers out. I was like, oh yeah, let's have some burgers. And she's like, oh, it's meant to be nice tomorrow. We'll have a barbecue. When she says he's just going to get eggs. She went for eggs, and now we have a sideboard. I still can't get the reasoning behind that. So now it's my job, poor peasant boy that I am, to uh, cut the grass. Uh... We have a substantial lawn, just gonna say that. Um, actually, I'll, I'll fucking show you it. This is what I have to cut. I mean, it's not like I have to go around on a sort of sit down lawnmower, like do an entire school field, but at the same time, the geometry is what really pisses me off. And I have to move all this shit. We have so much garden furniture. And now we have a sideboard as well. What the fuck? Fun thing about cutting the grass, I have to fucking avoid the washing line. And it's just like, ugh. Why do I do this to myself? Wait, I don't. I have to do it. Fuck. And here we see the family rabbit. Hopping around. Because he's a lazy bum. He's, he's, he's got the weirdest name in the world because his name is Arthur. Well, it's pronounced Arthur. It's actually spelled R-F-O-R. -R, as in R. For rabbit. Do you know how the alphabet goes? D for dog, C for cat, R for rabbit. Yeah, that's his name. My mum's a weird person. One positive thing I can say about cutting the grass is I don't have to be worried about an electric cable because ours is a petrol lawnmower. Problem with that is, the last couple of times I've used it, I prime it and then it just goes <laughs> So I have to wait half an hour and then prime it again. Okay, was that you rustling the leaves or did you take a piss? Because either way, that's not cool, dude. We've had as long as, I think, about as long as we've had this fucking house, so, um, yeah, it's, it's an old fucker. So, gotta prime it. You guys can't smell that, but that's just like, ugh, I fucking hate the smell of petrol. In you go. We used to have like a little attachment, like a little funnel attachment for this can, but we lost it. So now we don't have it anymore. I can't tell if I'm spilling petrol or if that's just what petrol does when you pour it. It just evaporates everywhere. And now I've got it on. And now I've got it on my fingers. Fucking wonderful. <clears throat> now the thing about old petrol lawnmowers is you have this little button here and you have to press that three times to prime it. But you don't because the last couple of times I didn't, I primed it and it doesn't work. So give it a fourth cheeky push just to be safe, you know, just to make sure I've done it right. And now, let's see if it works or if it just does the explodey thing. And it did the explodey thing. Wonderful. Okay, so it's been working. I've been doing a bit of grass. I just realized one of the things you have to really, one of the things that really sucks about cutting the grass when you have a rabbit is not the fact you have to avoid the rabbit, it's just the fact you're inevitably going to start cutting up rabbit poop. I mean, it's all right when it's been out in the sun and it's sort of dry and it's, not mushy and squishy, but we've had fucking tons of rain because, you know, we live in England. So that's where the rabbit's supposed to poop in that little... <laughs> anyway, that's where the rabbit's supposed to poop in that little cordoned off area. And this is where he poops. And this video has just now been dedicated to rabbit poop. That is what my programming skills have come to. God, I suck. 
So the thing about sunglasses, they can't, they don't really tell you how expressive the eyes are. Like, you can have this, it's sort of like a mask almost, because the eyes are the most expressive part in the world. And it's just sort of like, I'm dead inside. You can't really see the eyes because they, oh, I see the rabbit. The rabbit is moving. Are you coming over here to poop again? I've managed to, as my family puts it, slope off. So, guests arrive at about 3 o'clock. So, what time is it now? 10 past 1, so I've got about an hour, maybe, to kill. So, I'm going to play some MGS5, and I'm going to fucking beat the skulls, and I'm going to win, and I'm going to finish this fucking mission that I've been stuck on since last night. And I keep getting put in the same checkpoint in the Jeep, just outside North Bravo Airport, and it's fucking pissing me off. So anyway, I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to put some resource farming on, then I'm going to finish my top 10 cartoons. So, that's the plan. Okay, so I've had the barbecue, people have arrived, people are still here, and I'm just like, no, I don't, I don't want to, um, this, this is very nice and all, but at the same time, I like you all. I like them all sat down there in the garden, but at the same time, it's um, it's got to a point where I usually leave, because I'm I I am that person that will usually leave the party first. It's it's, it's something personal. It's just something I do. Another thing about me is when it comes to parties, I'll enjoy them so long as the ratio of people. I know to people I don't know is more in favour of the people I know because if there's more people I don't know everyone's having conversations with each other everyone's having conversations with the people they do know and I'm so sat with about five people I don't know and I'm the awkward person who's just refusing to talk to anyone so yeah that's a thing but I've had my food I've moved away from party now and gotta go back to some MGS5 and then Maybe I'll... I don't know. It's got to the point where the sun is now in my room. So, uh, sun's starting to set, and it's going to be blinding light all across my screen for the next... Well, a couple of minutes until I draw the fucking curtains. But I'm going to go back to MGS5, and the skulls can go fuck themselves. And now it's night time. I'm in bed. I'm getting ready to go to sleep, but yeah, I've got work tomorrow, and I'll have work the day after, but it's going to be short days, those two days, so um, I seem to do this, because I want to, I seem, it's a bit of a weird pattern for me, I start these things, and then I'll do, I'll make great headway on making these sort of vlog videos. And then I'll forget about them for half the day, and then I'll just remember about them when I see my camera just sat on my bed when I'm going to sleep, and I'm just like, oh yeah, I never really finished signing off on that, did I? So, um, basically, the plan for the week is, oh, hold on, <coughs> basically, plan for the week, go to work, get, ref go to work, get my top 10 cartoon videos sorted and yeah that's pretty much it <laughs> I don't live an exciting life guys not yet anyway but uh, I hope to change all that anyway it's been uh, yeah this has been a very interesting Monday but um, yeah I've been Dark Sammy 101 this has been another episode of I Hit Mondays See you on Saturday, hopefully.